But the final vector of Armageddon, the big problem is artificial intelligence. Some individuals like Elon Musk, they've warned people about artificial intelligence, but Elon Musk is not your friend at all. Um, his argument is he says, well, I tried to reach out to the world's leaders and warn them about the dangers of AI, but they don't listen. So what we need to do is put chips in our head and I'll tell you why Elon Musk wants to put a chip in your head, the real truth about it. It's because if you wanted to, if you were an extraterrestrial, let's say, and you wanted to interact with a dangerous AI, but you didn't want to become contaminated by the AI itself or fall under the AI's control, how would you do that? Well, if I put a chip in one of your heads and you interact with the AI and you become compromised, well, I can possess you through the unconscious mind because I've genetically wired you to do that. So now you've all become remote access terminals for aliens to interact with an AI system. This is the danger of it. And Elon Musk is not your friend. When the other day he posted on Instagram pictures of him dressed up in a suit of armor with Satan's symbols and logo on it, he's letting you know they're flying the flag. It's not, oh, I'm LARPing. I just like to dress up in a costume and pay homage to Satan. No, he's letting you know. But you go, oh, but his cars are so cool. He can't be like that. He smokes pot on Joe Rogan. He's my friend. That's an act. That guy doesn't have any normal feelings. He's not even human. And anyone who knows can see this. Yeah, he makes nice cars. Who cares? That's not his main goal. That's how you win over people's confidence. So that you say, okay, yeah, let's put a chip in the head. And it's always for a good reason. No, I'm developing this so people who are paralyzed can use the internet and make selfies too. Okay, that well, sounds great, but that's not the purpose of it. So when he throws up all those satellites into orbit, another one of his businesses, satellite, 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 satellite. Hey, what are you doing that for, Elon? The official story is, well, we want to provide high-speed internet to kids in Africa. Oh, okay, that's good. No, it's so he can control all the chips in your head, you morons. Get it straight. And this is the problem with AI, because the gray aliens have been planting artificial intelligence computers inside this planet already going back to the year 2000. There were a lot of military remote viewers who put this in writing. And some people say, oh, military remote viewing, that's nonsense. Really? The US military pays for this. They spend millions and millions of dollars remote for remote viewers. And these people are all decorated generals, and they use it in active intelligence gathering. So it's not made up. And they've seen what the greys are doing, because the greys hope, again, that you develop AI, and then they can take it over, and they have more control over you. And a lot of them enjoy this because they consider it, again, we're talking about rebellion, as a direct affront to the Divine Father. They say, oh, you can create things? <laughs> Watch what I do. I create an AI system. It's going to start creating things like crazy. Because what do you think an AI is going to do if it's created without any kind of wisdom? First thing it's going to do is look around and say, well, all of you don't need to be here. And then it's going to combine itself with robotics and nanotechnology. And it's going to reshape this planet in its own image, whatever that will be. And that means repurposing all your genetic material, meaning you, into something else. You'll all be dead. And that might be really fine and dandy if human beings were all killed off from the point of view of a lot of these extraterrestrials. But there's another problem. Because AI won't stop at just this planet. It's going to say, well, I want to be a spacefaring consciousness too. And now it starts to travel to planet after planet and rinse and repeat and create a giant mess. And do you really think the other extraterrestrials are going to put up with that? No. It will never be allowed to get to that point. And if it ever did get to that point, this planet would be obliterated just to make sure that AI would not get off of it. Because AI is not normally, it could survive, let's say, a nuclear holocaust easily. So you have to destroy the entire planet. But nobody wants to do that because, again, they want the planet for themselves because this planet has incredible resources that human beings are not aware of. And even if they were, they don't have the technology to extract. But extraterrestrials do. 